Good evening, everybody. Welcome to my inaugural uh, off meeting week training. I just wanted to say good evening and uh, welcome to this uh, brief, uh, this topic that I want to speak to you on uh, pathways to professionalism. Uh, my name is Nick Acosta, your broker, principal broker here at Downtown Expert Realty. And since uh, we are going to be making meetings every other Tuesday, starting this Tuesday coming up at 10 a.m., uh, highly recommend that you attend. Uh, I would really like you to attend these meetings. Um, it's very important that we uh, communicate with each other with our ideas. Uh, and this is that'll be your opportunity to um, speak on behalf of what our meeting agenda is. I will always send out a meeting agenda at least uh, two days before the meeting of next week at 10 a.m. on Tuesday. So I would, I as a broker and as a person would like to make sure that as you know, as we tweak these uh, processes uh, going forward, that I want to make sure that your personal time with whoever you're with, your loved one, your family, or your family's loved one as well, uh, that you have your evenings uh, to spend with your, your loved ones, uh, that you care about, your partners, whoever they may be. Um, and this is why I want to give you guys the ability to have your evenings to either like uh, lead generate or follow up with uh, customers or spending time with your family, friends, loved ones, partners, all of the above. So anyways, let's get into this. So I just wanted to go ahead and let you know um, one new uh, marketing uh, lead generation thing I do. Uh, Lee and I go out and we pass out door hangers and we do remember consistency is key on the basis. Um, it may not show. Let me go ahead and pull this up again for you all real quick and show you what I was going to show you all in this. Uh, go with me one second. This way, and I'm going to go to prospect. Actually, I think you can see that in my email. Let's go to my email. Right, and I'm going to share with you. Not sure what's happening to my browser. All right, uh, so Gmail. I apologize, that was weird. My email did not want to appear for me to log in, so I apologize briefly on that. Um, all right, so but we're going to talk about pathways to professionalism from things that stories that I've heard from my agents that I've worked on them, but not anything that our agents within our brokers have done uh, unethically or, or unprofessionally. Uh, but I did have to step in at the request of my agents, which I have no problem doing. If you ever run into any issue whatsoever, whether to do with contract issues or cooperation from other brokerages um, or uh, as well, well, this was a cooperation with another brokerage situation. And the reason that's why I'm bringing up the pathways to professionalism on this week's uh, edition of this recorded uh, presentation to y'all. So anyways, let me get back to it right here for y'all. Let me go and show you all um, my Prospects Plus order. Um, this is something that's called prospectsplus.com. They are based out of, I believe, Brandon, Florida, which is... Uh, right outside of Tampa, near Riverview, near Gibsonton. Um, so they are locally owned and operated, which is pretty cool. I love supporting, um, you know, home businesses or, you know, family businesses, phone family owned and operated whenever we can, as that is what we are as well as a brokerage. Um, so let me go ahead and see if it will let me pull up my order from them. I was going to go to my email to see if it showed me it's like a, um, what do you call it? Um, they have everything on this site. Um, I'm going to actually, I'll share the page with that I'm on right now. And I'm not, I have no uh, connection or any uh, profit sharing or anything from this company. I'm not pushing them that because I get a kickback or anything. So I'm just fully, I'm just disclaiming that I have no, financial interest or financial gain from this company, but I ran into them online when I was doing a search. There are so many different options out there and I found out 
my personal opinion that they're pretty reasonable. They're easy to work with um, and they're easy to get a hold of. They work Monday through Friday, um, but but they're just phenomenal. And they got the product that I ordered and then other agent and our brokers that ordered pretty quickly to us. Pretty much overnight because they are near Tampa, Florida. Excuse me. Let me go and share the screen with you all. Here we go. All right. So let me go to a Chrome tab and I'm going to share what you all are seeing. All right. You see, this is at Prospects Plus, a very awesome, uh, you know, website and easy to order and reasonably priced. If you go over $50, I believe, I mean, don't quote me on this for the, the door hangers that I ordered, which came out phenomenal, very high quality, pretty large, the, the jumbo size, um, or not jumbo size, but the regular one, but they're still pretty decent size. Um, I got free shipping because I went over $50 before tax. So anything over 50 bucks, at least for the door hangers I know, don't quote me on the other products because every other pro they have so many different products and so many different categories. You can see you got campaigns that you can set up automated categories, price for dues, contract printing, expired listings, holidays, target buyers, target sellers, niche markets, uh, you know, things like that, feature properties, acquired listings, all that kind of stuff. So, I'm just, but right now I'm, I'm just going to go show you my orders. All right. So we're going to go see how they have live chat right now. The live chat's available. I'm not sure what time that, that gets shut off, but as of right now, you see the live chat uh, symbol is there. That will turn into like an email or an envelope after the hours that they're closed. I, because I saw that this weekend that it was an envelope and it was said because you can send them an email. You see free ground shipping on ordered over $49. And then, but you have the details to see more, obviously. All right. So let me go back to home and see where I can see my orders. I'm trying to figure out where I'm in my account. So, oh, here, there's the drop down. I'm still learning how the site works. So there's just a lot of stuff in here, but it's cool. It's awesome though that they have a lot of stuff because I've actually, or, you know, done a couple of things here, like the real estate times, as you see, I sent these out, right? And I like it how they're already compliant. One, they use recycled paper, just to let you know. I'm not sure if it ha they do that with your, um, it doesn't have the recycle symbol on the door hangers, but the postcards that I sent, you see how it's got a recycle symbol right here, equal housing and realtor symbol. And also it requires you to put, and then it also has the, disclaim, the disclaimer at the bottom about if your house is already listed or your property is already listed with another real estate agent or broker, our intention is not to solicit your listing and that you, should definitely should consider continue you definitely should continue working with your current broker and that we're not trying to steal the listing okay so this is one example of what i sent um uh, it's pretty odd i'm sure i should put there let me preview it but i also did something to uh, the beaches please allow me to introduce myself to your neighborhood pretty cool right so we got that okay and that's got our logo and if you need me to set up an account or order these for you um, I will order them and I'll get you a quote for exactly what um, they, uh, the, you know, whatever it's, I'm not going to charge you extra to do the pro put it together for you. I'm going to give you the quote estimate on the price, exact amount that they are charging for the product and shipping, not, not adding any, anything to it, of course, but this is a dedicated one. I like this series. They have a series where it give, defines things like dedicated and things like that. And I just like this one because we're over the, and then the bottom of the card, there's actually, you can't see it in my example here, but above where my picture would be is right here. They're on the actual printed ones. There's a perforated line where they can tear the bottom part off and put this part on their, their refrigerator as like a business card, but I mean, a, a larger than normal business card, of course. All right, so enough with that for now. I'm going to go ahead and just talk to you all about, I'm going to share my screen again, though, but with um, a PDF file here, we're going to talk about pathways of professionalism. And then I'm going to uh, get back to my personal time with Lee and our, our pups. Um, and then, but I'm going to record these probably every other week, you know, every, probably still every week, even when the weeks like next week, we'll have our meeting at two, 10 a.m. Tuesday morning, every other Tuesday. 
starting next week. But let me go ahead and open um, this document that I want to share in PDF. I, I probably could share it as a Word document, but actually it would probably be easier for you all to view. Um, not, um, view, let's go to fit with. That way it's bigger in here. Okay, so I'm going to share the screen. Uh, bear with me one second. Let me go back to the screen. You guys are going to, this would be cool. Let me go to my Chrome tab, but let me go to share this. Let me just see how you are seeing this. All right, so I will go through this. Hopefully I don't talk too fast through this, but I want to make sure that, and I'm going to give you an example. Um, I was given permission to use this example of what, what our agents experienced the other side of the transaction that was unfortunate all right <clears throat> all right so let's go over this everyone let me go to the mic all right so tonight's topic on this thing is ethical dilemmas code of ethics focus for this this training video that i'm doing for you all right now is respect for peers this is what i call and what nar nar national association realtors this is the where this information came from that's copyrighted from them pathways to professionalism covers three areas so we know number one is you want to respect the public obviously respect for property uh the property that you have listed or even the property that you're showing buyers to or investors to you always want to treat any uh, people in public as well as the property that you're either listing or going to show for a buyer or an investor with respect all right and then brings us to number three which is our focus for this week's training video and that's why i bolded the text respect for peers okay all right so this is what i wanted to share we all get busy we get busy all the time with our personal lives our real estate work uh, events out there working with our customers which are not just our buyers and sellers but also title agents home inspectors insurance agents mortgage loan officers etc everyone that we work with and interact with is our peers okay so however us however us getting busy and distracted never constitutes us disrespecting our peers in this industry or any other industry at all okay and I put this in bold and larger type because this is important to me and should be uh, to everyone. We have to be respectful of everyone we work with and interact with, okay? Even people that we don't work with but just interact with at the store, okay? Or in, anywhere we go to a soccer game in public. We should always respect everybody. Now, consequences to not respecting our peers. All right. So let me just give you an insight. There is one of our agents and uh i've got her permission to say that stacy on our team uh was working and jennifer on our team was were working with a listing broker side um that unfortunately i had to step in to to intervene and to find out what's going on uh where the listing side and i'm not giving out names i would never do so and i'm not disrespecting our peers on that side this is not what i'm doing i'm not bashing anybody i just want to be clear on that I'm just giving you an example of why we have the code of ethics. Now, the reason we have the code of ethics is that one of the code of ethics is to cooperate with others, like Article 12-5 from the code of ethics. Now, so what happened in this situation was that the okay, the listing side of uh, of the of listing side of the transaction. Um, was being disrespectful to the agents on in our brokers that I mentioned already, Stacey and Jen. Um, not only that, um, they were trying to un the listing side was also trying to undermine our buyers that we were representing as a brokerage um, by letting you know saying that basically that they had plenty of money as a cash buyer from the proof of funds where they could definitely offer more money than what they offered. And that the listing broker side kept saying, indicating to us that the, that the house is worth more, way more than what they um, are, our buyers offered. Um, so <clears throat> there was a back and forth kind of thing, but 
when we talked to the other side, the listening side, we were not getting, they were not cooperating with us. And this is the reason I intervened and uh, reached out to the listing broker side, the listing brokers or listing agents broker. And also, um, unfortunately, not unfortunately, uh, had to reach out to the uh, ethics committee for the greater or real, uh, the Re realtor association in Sarasota Manatee counties in Bradenton, Florida, and to file a complaint against this agent for not cooperating, not only with the brokerage, but ultimately not cooperating with Stacy and Jen in this situation because of the interactions that I personally had for the listing side. And this is unfortunate, but out there, it's not about being a tattletale or being a narc and saying, oh, well, you know, like you're in middle school or high school and you're tattletale. If a side, this is, this is about a learning opportunity, a training opportunity. It's not to go after the other side to say, oh, I got them in trouble. Ha ha. You know, I'm the better person by tattletaling them. It's not that. This is about making sure that 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 the complaint that's filed against that person is educated and is receives the knowledge and training the appropriate training from their broker or through the code of ethics training from nar or your local realtor board that they understand what they did whether they're not aware of it or aware of it you just have to make sure that they are aware of it if things do move forward which in this case um without going into detail uh has moved on from the grievance committee now to the professional standards committee or the you know the pathway or not the pathway but the professional uh committee or professional standards committee is now reviewing it all right so just wanted to let you know that this is why i wanted to do this video and then this is why i'm going to be doing videos probably more than once or twice a week um to share this information so that in your time that uh, you are able to watch this when I email this to you as a team. So, right. So, it doesn't matter what's happening in the transaction. You never want to, and this is for training for all, and not saying that nobody on our team did this, but I want to let you know that you always have to remember that we work for our buyers and our sellers. We should never have an emotional attachment to the outcome of their purchase price or their, their the price they agree to sell their property for okay so with that said it we never also want to undermine the buyers or the sellers in, in anything never go talking to bad mouthing um a buyer's agent or buyers to your sellers like in this case where this other side the listing side went and bad mouth our buyers and our agents and our brokerage to the sellers telling them that we should ask for more money that they are way offering way under what your home is worth and we saw their proof of fund statement and they have plenty of money we should ask them to purchase it for full price or whatever the case was right in this case it was full price but i as always, and, and I know both, um, our agents and our brokerage, uh, we all ran comps uh, to, to show proof to the listing agent to present to his sellers that, hey, I understand the value of your, that it's the value of this listing or this home is important to your seller, all right? We do, we did notate from the inspection that there was a, a roof needed to be replaced and there were some other issues with pests and things, pest damage and rodents that had in, that affected the value of the home, like structural issues in the attic where rodents had been eating away and termites have been eating away at the, at the you know, underneath the roof on the roof, uh, the roof board and, and the frame of the roofing. So, okay. So with that information, as well as we putting this documentation together, from doing our comps on what recently sold that was comparable obviously it's only an estimate remember never say this is an appraisal if you're not an appraiser and always say it's an estimate of of the property that recently sold in terms of the comparative analysis 
So our comparative analysis showed us in the 300 something thousand range. It was listed for, I believe, 450,000 originally. But nonetheless, the, the, the listing agent and the, the, was, I don't, we don't know anything. I'm not accusing anybody or listing side of anything, but we felt based off of the communication and or the lack of communication that during the process, when it comes to article 12-5 and cooperating with other brokerages or other the other side, that the listing side was undermining us as real estate agents, as well as a brokerage, and, and ultimately undermining our customers, the buyers who we have a duty to look out for uh, to make sure that they are getting making a purchase based off of fair market value and that they're not being extorted or, 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 you know, forced into purchasing something they don't feel comfortable with when they feel that it doesn't, you know, we ran the numbers, we saw what the comparable sold for. And this is why we adjusted our purchase offer to in the three hundreds, like the comparative close to or above the comparative market amount, comparative market analysis price point. All right. So nonetheless, this property did close. However, I, as a broker, um, I'm here to not, I, I'm only, I'm here also to protect you all as real estate agents or realtors under the board of realtors that you respectively belong to, as well as to the, um, the, our, uh, the agent or the customers, right? So there was a lot of other things that went into this, uh, you know, uh, there was other some dealings where they had done our one or the title company requested us to do disbursement authorization based off of the twenty five thousand credits that our seller was giving to our buyers because of the roof work and the pest damage. Um, however, they misappropriated the purchase price of that's four hundred fifteen thousand in the MLS uh, on the sold status for the update which I did file a complaint with seller MLS for them to review the listing um, because of the discrepancies and that my side, our side, as well as the listing side, got paid a commission based off of the, the uh, price of $415,000 minus the $25,000 credit, which is not accurate. And when I reached out to the listing side and asked them why would you tell title that we get paid commission based off of the seller credit reduction of the purchase of the of the sale price, especially when there was never an addendum generated by the sellers that that said that the buyers and sellers and uh, with all parties signing, of course, which they didn't. There was never an addendum made that said we are adjusting the purchase price from four hundred fifteen thousand to three hundred and whatever the total price was at the time. Can't remember off the top of my head right now. But nonetheless, what I'm trying to say is that when that happened, that's when, and then I reached out to the listing agent and listing broker, and they explained to me that since our buyers were already getting such a good deal with this $25,000 credit, that the listing agent, right? Not the broker, but the listing agent felt that he, his, his customers, his sellers had lost enough money already with the $25,000 credit to our buyers that he felt that it was appropriate for all of us, including himself, the listing agent, um, get less money in a commission to offset uh, because that he felt that his sellers were taking a huge loss based on his opinion, not based off of our comparative market of analysis of base, but what recently sold in that, that development or in, in that age of the home or square footage or condition. So that's when I went to, uh, to RASM, search out of Manatee Board of Realtors. I filed a complaint uh, based off of the cooperation scenario of with brokerages or brokerages supposed to be, you know, agents cooperating with one another. Um, and they sent a, he, the agent sent a very disrespectful uh, email towards Stacey and Jen as well as overall in general to the brokerage in, in, as well. Uh, but mostly they, he did point out um, negative, he pointed was very negative with nothing to back it up with. And I know that 
our agents did not do anything disrespectful to their side. Um, and so what I'm getting at is like, just this is why uh, I filed it. So the Greens Committee reviewed it and they uh, they agreed with my complaint. And now and we are waiting to hear back from the Professional Standards Committee, uh, whether it's going to they were talking about if they are found guilty of this. Uh, they could the listing side could be uh, fined with a five hundred dollar fine um, and a violation for not cooperating. So, anyways, let's get to it. Uh, the following consequences for not respecting our peers: letter of warning, letter of reprimand, education, fine not to exceed fifteen thousand, probation for one year or less, suspension for not less than thirty days or more than one year expulsion for membership for a period of one to three years, suspension or termination of MLS privileges. Okay, so mm, homework for you all. Next Tuesday, 10 a.m. we're meeting. This is your assignment for next Tuesday at 10 a.m. Bring your examples or where you had a peer of yours disrespect you. Please do not disclose anyone's name or any companies or any, any whoever it is. Please do not disclose it. We are here to this the purpose of this training tonight is not to disrespect every, every, others but it's to make sure that people are held accountable and educated uh we're not here to take people's licenses away or board access away we're here to make sure that they are aware of what they did by violating the code of ethics and that their broker or their border respective border realty realtors puts them in a, some kind of training program to educate them on the importance of this scenario and any other scenario in the code of ethics that we should follow. Um, I always have the code of ethics with me and it's in my office and it's also on my phone, but I look at it from time to time to, you know, just a refresher and also to keep myself aware of this. So this is just an idea if you'd like to do that. Um, but just explain to us next week the situation. How did it impact you, okay? And what was done or what did you do to address the situation, all right? So I'm not saying that anybody has to feel like they're a narc or a tattletale. This is not about that. We're not here to take, tear people down and whether internally or externally. It is about making sure that we make the person that made the ethics misstep is what I call it, not a violation. I'm, I'm calling it, it is a misstep and a learning opportunity to go through training to see what they can do to improve their behavior and how they communicate with either side or anybody in uh, our peers. Okay. So anyways, with that note, I really want to say thank you for our inaugural um, uh, training session that I'm going to be doing. I know this was a little bit longer than I thought it would be, which is fine. But I wanted to make sure that I clarify in detail what I was trying to get across in this message. I will send you this video and I will also send you the PDF file that I shared on the screen tonight. Um, I do, I will share the Prospect Plus uh, link to you as well. All right. So let me just go ahead and uh, play you all out with some music. Okay. Um, in case you guys were, I know it was pretty quiet <laughs> without it. Right. So I was trying to see, let me play this here, y'all. Oh, uh, let's do something cool. How about dance pop, maybe? Let's see. What it sounds like. Oh no, let's I just in the space, right? Oh, no, no, that's too slow, right? Okay. So, with that note, I want to say have a great night. Enjoy time with your loved ones, and uh, I'll see you Tuesday, 10 a.m. Eastern, uh, for our one hour every other week uh, bi-monthly meeting or bi-weekly meeting. Or, yeah, sorry, bi monthly meeting. And you all have a great night. Okay? And I'll be sharing this video with you shortly. I will send you a YouTube link. That way you have no issues of watching it on your phone or any issues with bandwidth. Take care. And this has been Nick Acosta, Downtown Expert Realty. I'm always available at 407 508 8809. Never hesitate to contact me. All right? Have a good night.